so the same thing happens in human beings. Now, LPA is at one of the lipoproteins, and it is part of the whole measurement, although no one will tell you, will give you the, the actual figure unless you are specifically for it. But it's really important. It is actually the lipoprotein that is important because when you look at plaques and people say, oh, they've got lots of LDL in them, the answer is, no, they don't have lots of LDL in them. What they have is lots of LPA in them. And how would you know the difference? Because the, the basic structure of molecule LDL is exactly the same. The only difference is that LPA has this protein wrapped around it called apolipoprotein A. And if you don't look for that protein, you wouldn't know if it's LDL or LPA. And no one looks for this protein, but some people have looked for this protein, right. including Elspeth Smith, including, unfortunately, Matthias Rath. You know, when they, when they did coronary artery bypass surgery and they take out the old artery and then they look at it and say, look at all these plaques and they examine them. He examined them and said, so what's, what's in here? Is it LDL or is it LPA? All right. And the only way you can tell is if you look for this stain for this particular apolipoprotein A. And what he found was that, well, well, there it is. There it is. It's there, and it's there in plaques in high concentrations. Right. So what's in plaques is, is most likely LPA. Not LDL. Right? Not LDL. And that would make sense because LPA is designed to plug damaged areas of artery wall. And people with a high LPA level are far more likely to die from heart disease than, than people with a high LDL level, for instance. So of course, when clots form, LPA, LDL, the whole thing, they all get rammed together inside the clot in quite high concentrations. So there's a part of the argument. The other thing is, years back when they found what they thought was cholesterol in plaques, what they were seeing was cholesterol crystals, all right? And you may think, well, where did that come from? That must have come from LDL because that's got cholesterol in them. The answer is, again, it's like everything you look at, you can turn it around and say, no, no, you've looked at it this way, but actually you're wrong because it's this way. Yeah. Turn it around 180 degrees. The one place a cholesterol crystal cannot come from is an LDL molecule. Because as I said before, cholesterol in LDL is linked to fats as a cholesterol ester. It is not cholesterol. Is cholesterol ester, different chemical. You can't make cholesterol crystals from cholesterol esters. So where does the cholesterol crystals come from? So they're there. I'm not, I, I fully accept there's lots of cholesterol crystals in quite a lot of plaques. And so well, that yeah. must've come from LDL because they carry cholesterol around. No, they don't. They carry cholesterol esters around. What carries cholesterol, pure cholesterol around in the body? Where is the only place you can find it? The only place you can find a cholesterol in its pure form is in the membranes of red blood cells is because it's really complicated to get oxygen in and CO2 out and it needs a very very careful construction of the membrane for this to happen and that requires pure cholesterol it's the only place you can find it intercalated it's got intercalated in between the two parts of the membrane is pure cholesterol right so the only place you can get cholesterol crystals from is red blood cells mm -hmm. and, uh, and and what do you find in blood clots in very high concentrations it's red blood cells. So the only place that cholesterol crystals could have come from inside a plaque and people find these things is from red blood cells being incorporated into the blood vessel wall and the only place that can come from was a blood clot. Right. So pe people have looked at, at, at lipoproteins and said oh look at all that LDL, wrong, it's LPA. People have looked at the cholesterol crystals and said oh my god that must have come from LDL because that's what cholesterol comes from, wrong their cholesterol esters, it comes from red blood cells. That's the only place it can come from. And I've read about 20 papers that have said this. All right? mm -hmm. They've said this, this is interesting because this is the only place it's going to come from. And how much impact has this had on mainstream thinking about blood, about, um, about plaques and the rest? None. None. And yet they'll still say, oh, well, we, you know, plaques are made of cholesterol. 